Welcome to our first blog of the new year, 2020. It's the time of the year when people make all their New Year's resolutions. And uh, if you're like me, you've made some of those over the years. And sometimes you've kept them, sometimes you haven't. Maybe you could take the pressure off this year by just deciding to get closer to God. Because I believe that when you begin to understand God's majesty, his purity, his sense of justice, his, his awesome raw power, and his overwhelming love, you begin to get to know him, well, you can't help but start to love him back. The requests that God makes of us are relatively simple, to believe in his son, and to live with Jesus in our heart, letting him help guide us through this life. An act of adoration now and then, to thank him for his grace, to share our trials with him. And we don't have to cry out very loud because God is always closer than we think. He's a good father. He just wants us to spend time with him to practice his presence, so to speak. That just to converse with him all the time during our days. And as we truly begin to love God, it's his desire that we share in his joy. Another thing that happens when we truly love God is we begin to want to line up with his desires to do things his way, to obey him, and he always asks us to love each other. Another thing when we truly love God is we, we begin to put down the, the very human desire to get rewards for doing things that God wants us to do. And instead, we just do those things out of the sheer love that we have for him. Another thing that happens when we start really loving God is we begin to pull away from worldly standards and from the pressure to get everything right the way the world wants it to look. And we just focus on loving and pleasing God. This love that we grow for God over a lifetime leads us into an attitude of gratitude where we just begin to see his hand in everything and be so grateful for all that he's done. Every good thing in our lives, it turns out, comes from him. If we truly love God, we trust Him with everything. I love this quote from Brother Lawrence. He says, all things are possible to him who believes, and they're less difficult for him who hopes, and even easier for him who loves, and the easiest for him who puts into practice all of these virtues, faith, hope, and love. And always remember, we love God because, well, he loved us first. 
and he gave up his life as the atoning sacrifice for all of our mistakes, all of our wrongdoing, all of our sins.